in this video, I'm excited to start working with contingency tables. This is particularly exciting because it will be your first time working with two variables, each with multiple categories. Let's say we survey some people and ask two questions. What is your gender and what is your political party? The people surveyed state that they are either male or female and that they are Democrat, Republican, or Independent. We count that there are 20 males who are Democrat, 22 females who are Democrat, 21 males who are Republican, and so on. A contingency table gives us the opportunity to display the count for each set of responses in a two-question survey. Once we have all our counts, we can find the total count for each category by adding the numbers in each row or each column. By adding 20 male Democrats and 22 female Democrats, we get that there are 42 Democrats overall in our sample. We do the same to see that we have 37 Republicans and 51 independents in our sample. To see the total number of males surveyed, we can add the number of Democrat males, Republican males, and independent males to get 60. We do the same for the second column to see that we surveyed 70 females. To see how many people were surveyed in all, we can either add the total number of Democrats, Republicans, and independents, getting 130, or we can add the total number of males and females, also getting the same number. Let's make things even more interesting by looking at something called marginal distribution. We can learn more about each category by focusing on our margin where totals are located and figuring out the percent of each value in the margin of the whole. We can see from the margin on the right that the total number of Democrats is 42. By putting 42 over a total 130, then multiplying by 100 to convert to a percent, we see that 32.3% of those surveyed are Democrat. We can do the same for the number of Republicans and we find that 28.5% of those surveyed are Republican. And finally, we can see that 39.2% of those surveyed were independent. We could also focus on the margin at the bottom to see the percent of males and females surveyed. Here's a summary of what we've learned. A contingency table shows the counts for responses of a two-question survey. Marginal distribution are percentages calculated from the margin of our contingency table.